This video is sponsored by Gothic. Use my code in the pinned comment or in the description to save yourself 20%. More on them later. So this week's a big week when it comes to Halo, guys. We got a lot of stuff about the winter update. It's right around the corner that you're definitely going to want to know about. And it seems like the developers are really starting to come out and saying that this update is going to be a huge change for Halo moving forward. And it looks like we have more data mined information about Tatanka, the rumored Battle Royale mode, about their loot system, as well as rounds within it. Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So stay tuned to the channel here, guys, for this week because Unicheck, the community manager at 343, recently tweeted out saying lots of winter update details dropping next week, which is the week here of Monday. Keep an eye out on Halo Waypoint as we start gearing up for launch. Now, various members at 343 have said that they're not really going to showcase anything brand new that we haven't seen or know of quite yet when it comes to the launch of the winter update. But I'm looking for more of a f official capacity to understand what everything is going to be. Kind of like a one-stop shop, maybe like a vid doc kind of thing we could see when it comes to this week of this uh, winter update video. Because this update, while it might seem insignificant, is actually rather jam-packed full of content. Content, guys we got a full new battle pass to go through we're getting forged we're getting online co-op rumors of a sandbox update as well coming with this ranks being reset new maps new modes like a lot of stuff is actually happening with this guys a lot of people have been stating that this is going to be an update that's going to be changing halo forever which it certainly will bring it forward with the community features tied into it it's gonna be a massive change to halo Infinite. and if you haven't played co-op campaign guys trust me play it i would say out of all the halo campaigns out there halo infinite is the one that's designed for co-op i actually played the flight quite a bit there was one day i just kind of hopped on i was like okay i'll play for like an hour i got a lot of stuff to do around the house and then three hours later i was like okay dude i gotta go mow the lawn because it's just so much fun playing co-op infinite campaign so don't downplay this update it's gonna be significant we also had a video recently go live on the halo channel showcasing the two new maps argyle and detachment this is probably the most in-depth look that we've had a chance to actually really look at what these maps are going to be providing us and there's going to be two snipers on this map for argyle which is going to be amazing i think that's something that halo infinite has been really lacking when it comes to their maps and what sandbox placement so this is gonna be really exciting this map will go into ranked rotation as well and on top of that we also do have detachment which is the first map to bring back the teleporters which is going to be such a classic thing of halo's gameplay obviously uh, that will not be thrown into the rank style things but we will also have the map the pit coming in soon after the launch of forge i would assume probably later in the month of november maybe right before 343 goes on their winter break in early december again once that map does get put in rotation i will let you guys know which the pit is going to be remastered which is going to be part of the ranked playlist as well so i'm really excited about that one of my all-time favorite maps and yeah guys definitely need to check it out in fact i made a video on my channel here showcasing the 15 plus changes that they made to this remake of the pit that you're certainly gonna want to check out because there's a lot of really important details that they actually modified with the new version of the pit i know a lot of people have been unhappy with the style change of the pit but one way to improve your style is by checking out well gothic gothic is a company that makes unique jewelry that tells a story about who you are whether you're into fashion rock tattoos goth punk biker style or religious or even totemic culture check them out it's actually some really cool stuff with gothic they recently sent me some items and i genuinely wear this stuff like every day like it feels great and it looks cool my wife actually got something from them as well she really likes the stuff and me as a guitar player as you can probably tell i do like some guitarists and they actually have a jim root slipknot ring which i love jim root style so rocking his ring hopefully provide some influence to give me some awesome legato shred moves <laughs> Gothic is currently running a sale on their website, guys. So if you feel so inclined to pick something out, make sure you use my code KevinCoolX for 20% off your purchase. Plus, we get a little kickback to help support the channel here. So thank you, Gothic, for supporting this video. Let's get right back into those details. We actually have a little bit of a sneak peek information about the 30 tier battle passes coming with the winter update as well, guys. You can see right here some little interesting goodies on top of that. Uh, Serasia also mentions that you'll be getting JFO is in the joint fire event, so we're not going to get that with this right here. CQB at level 10, CQC at level 20, and Mark 5 is the final tier. He also states that there are a lot of shoulder pads in the middle of this battle pass tier as well. So, 
Got lots of content, guys, for this. A lot of good stuff that's coming with this Mark V beat. Uh, 343 recently did state that this battle pass will also be permanent. It's not going to be going away anytime soon, like an event pass or anything like that. It's going to stay. And the main driver to unlock your content is through Match XP, as recently confirmed by Sketch right here. It's going to be the main driver to get your way through the pass. So mainly just playing the game is going to be how you do it. It'd be interesting to see how they manage the challenge system along with this new Match XP thing. And also saying that they will be having uh, more information on progress and pass itself as they get closer to November 8th, most likely coming with this update that we're going to be getting this week which i'll cover in depth on this channel here now there is a hidden feature that you guys probably didn't know about coming with this winter update that being the way to select or toggle i should say your region right here as recently leaked out by one of our favorite leaky boys here on twitter saying 343 dev at hcs said that the the region toggle feature is part of the winter update there are a ton of little extra things coming with this guys that i'm sure are not going to be going to be the most broadcast thing probably a lot of things may fly under the radar so if you guys want to know everything with this update and i mean everything you guys want to stick to this channel especially a live stream coming our way as well for this winter update is going to be absolutely huge guys to get all the details that you need to know about everything when it comes to halo infinite guys right here on reddit sketch recently said that they will have a live stream prior to november 8th which is the release date of the winter update where our team will do some show and tell with the build and uh, also that they did like i said earlier the pass is going to be a permanent tier as well pass not going to go away anytime soon so just like those season one pass just like the season two pass the 30 tier winter update pass is going to be here to stay now i did not get a chance to play on this winter update uh at the hcs event which i do plan to make a vlog about i recorded a bunch of stuff about that. i actually have an interview with g1 as well i think it'd be really cool listening for you guys as well uh but from what i've heard from the people who did get a chance to play on the new maps argon detachment most people are like, yeah, those are they're fun maps. They're good. Uh, I mean, it'd be kind of interesting to see how it plays out in the matchmaking realm of things, right? Because when you're playing like on land, you, or at least at a Halo event, like HCS event, like we we're playing with, the, the most of the people that are gonna be showing up there are you know your dedicated fans that gotta be like playing kind of like how you're supposed to, not really cheesing the map in any kind of way, especially since it's so brand new people's first time playing it's gonna be kind of like all over the place you know it's kind of like how maybe like catalyst might have played well at first but now it's one of the most disliked maps within the pool because people just kind of figure out how to play the map uh from what i've seen it looks like argyle might be pretty good again we'll just have to wait and see to get a chance to actually play it again with this live stream we should get a good show and tell about how it actually is going to play out now i'm sure many of you guys are like well match xp is great but where is my progression system well it's on the way when we don't really know sketch actually recently replied to someone here on twitter saying i wish the match xp would eventually go towards like a progression system and sketch said it will eventually spartan rank career progression will take a bit more time but it's on the list again i think it's part of the whole thing of where i think that by the end of 2023 i really genuinely do feel that halo infinite is going to be on track to really start doing some really great things and a lot of the developers also agree with this sentiment as well at least from what they've been stating here on twitter and i've been kind of going back and forth between twitter a lot there's just been a lot of information i've been away for a bit guys which will go into a little bit of a reason why i'll get on this channel update here if you guys want to stick around uh but here on twitter again sketch did talk about a little bit about this saying that the winter update will be a huge step forward but we're far from done. Like I said, probably by the end of 2023 is when we could see this thing really popping off. I, mean, I know there's a eagerness for improvements in a number of areas. This will start on November 8th, but there's lots of work happening with the targeted by the end of the year and beyond. Like I said, by the end of 2023, really think should be cooking when it comes to Halo Infinite that we've previously shared high level experience goals, priorities, and we'll share specific ones. Each update scope is finalized. Work is ongoing. Velocity has increased and it is truly all hands on deck. Thank you for understanding and support. Today, I had a chance to jump into an in-person play test for the first time in a while. Played some of the post winter update builds and let me just say my PC reticle was red. We've got some good stuff cooking. Like I've been saying guys, this is pretty much what they're doing right now that 343 really is genuinely all hands on deck to try to get this game up and running in a good state. So then when they decide to release season three that we're actually getting into some seasonality and saying that 
beyond the winter update that the reticle was red for PC, which is fantastic because as me, as a PC player, it's been kind of difficult to really judge when that aim assist or the bullet magnetism that comes with red reticle range is actually kicking in. Uh, Horsburst right here recently joined 343, who is a member from the community as well. Don't get, don't get mistaken about that, guys. He's actually a Halo player first then join 343 as well saying play some winter update stuff with a few peaks beyond at the studio playtest today and i'm just really excited to see people's feedback on it all feels to me like the first major step in a great leap forward for infinite which is like guys this is so reassuring max who is a playlist designer at 343 saying it's happening we are finally getting there what an exciting time to get involved. And that's basically how I'm feeling about Halo Infinite as well, guys. Now, winter update, it's not gonna be like the update to save Halo, but it's going to be in a very important update to get us start moving in the right direction for this game. And like I said, like even with season three, we're not gonna be fully be there either, guys. We're, this is a long haul kind of thing, but I generally do feel by the end of 2023, we really should be getting in a good spot where hopefully these things figured out. Hopefully the freaking ping fluctuations are happening get figured out as well we get into that seasonality but we get a new season every three to four months like that was promised so all things might be doom and gloom right now but the future actually is very bright for halo infinite now we do have some great information about tatanka the rumored battle royale mode that's totally not a thing but absolutely is the worst kept secret within halo right now uh the rumored battle royale looks like they might be doing some kind of way with the loot system is that be a bit of a tier list kind of thing follow with me on this one here so this is data mine from the api or they've been kind of slowly integrating more and more things about Tatanka. Right here we have item tiers list, which is common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, and vault. Uh, my assumption then, there won't really be a way for you to kind of customize your weapon, like adding scopes or anything like that. There'll probably be common, uncommon rarities kind of stuff, like we've seen like maybe like with Fortnite or with uh, the previous version of warzone right with warzone 1.0 uh that we could see like kind of like just default versions of weapons that we could see like then the higher version of them or kind of like more powered up or just different variations of different features like we had see with the vault we also have item factions as in unsc foreigner banished and covenant that's pretty much self-explanatory right there we also have item subtypes such as oddball supply run melee range Liar, I guess is the way to pronounce that one. Uh, ground, destroy, capture, and many other things. Now, these are probably the part of the, you know, the objectives that we've been seeing kind of talking about when it comes to Tatanka. That looks like there'll be some kind of way to unlock things within Tatanka. It's not going to be just a straight up just battle royale. You just kind of jump in with a, with the rumor is about 60 players with this battle royale and last person standing wins. It looks like there might be some way to kind of activate different types of objectives for you to possibly get these more rare items that are going to be on the map. Again, this is all speculation, all data mine, API, data leaks kind of stuff. So this is subject to change, but this does give us an idea of what to expect when that battle royale finally hits, which the rumor of the battle royale is rumored to be at the end of 2023, so what I mostly heard is probably early 2024, probably like March 2024 would be my guess, is when we could see this BR actually launch for Halo Infinite. One of our favorite leaky boys on the channel here, guys, Bathrobe Spartan. One of the homies we've been chatting with a little bit over here, talking about more about the Tonka. This is actually some information about the storm that's gonna be part of this battle royale as we've seen with all of the battle royales out there. Saying uh, potentially 12 to 20 minute long matches with seven rounds per game. We'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, damaged players and vehicles, uh, storm information on the HUD and also on the minimap, possibly altered in custom games as well, giving you options, which the rumor is that you will be able to do your different types of customization to this mode that will link in the forge, that will link in the custom games as well, which would be really awesome to see. Now, I did talk to Mathro Spartan about these rounds that we're talking that we saw right here. Uh, I believe that's more looking into the code, which did say rounds, but I don't think it's gonna be like necessarily like round based games. I think a round is just like the different sets of the circle closing in on you right there. I think that's round one kind of thing. I think that's kind of how they're wording it within the coding of the API, which 12 to 20 minute long matches with increasingly closing circles of a battle royale sounds pretty much on par for Halo Infinite. Now, how they're gonna make the battle royale seem more unique or more Halo-like 
we just have to wait and see. But of course, we, once we get some more information about it, you know, I'll share with you guys here on the channel. Of course, it's all data mined leaked information. So take it with a grain of salt. This is all subject to change, but certainly fun to talk about and kind of gives us a hint of what they're looking to do when it comes to this rumored battle royale for Halo Infinite. Now, if you made it thus far in the video, guys, I hope I earned your like on this one, but I also want to provide a little bit of a channel update right here, guys, as a big life change has happened to me recently and I've accepted a new position. That position being a senior community coordinator at at GameStop. Yeah, I'm part of the community team now at GameStop, which I'm really excited about this new job here, guys, because it's a position I've always wanted to get into when it comes to content creation, when it comes to trying to get into the game industry, something I'm genuinely passionate about. And I finally had a chance to do that. So I'm really excited. So you'll definitely see me already. I've already been making posts on the Twitter feed, on the Instagram feeds and stuff like that, helping out with the live streams, making content as a job now for GameStop. So I am super excited about this, guys. Though this job does require me to go into the studio quite often. So I don't know if I'll be able to provide as much in up update information as soon as it drops kind of stuff. I definitely will be able to cover a thing like the day after or something like that. So I think rather than going from like a news flash kind of format that I have been doing on the channel, I think I'll probably rotate more to like a discussion type of thing about the news when it comes to Halo, kind of like we're doing well today in this video. Just because I really want to focus on doing the best I possibly can with this new position. I'm super excited about it, very passionate, and I want to try to put my best foot forward to really show that I can do this kind of work. And I have to just thank you guys for coming by and watching and hanging out in the live streams, checking out leaving comments in the videos guys because if it wasn't for you guys it wouldn't motivate me as much to continually make so much content for everyone to check out and watch you guys help take this like hobby into like a part-time job kind of thing which then helped me get a full-time job doing this kind of thing so i'm genuinely so thankful for everyone who's been sticking through for years now on this channel watching and supporting the content if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be in this position that I'm in right now. But since I'll be busy with my new job, working in a studio, I won't be able to provide information as soon as it drops like some people can here on YouTube. But then, you know, that's great for them that they're able to do that. But I think I might pivot from doing that kind of informational videos to doing more kind of like, think of like a late night news host kind of discussion kind of format in that kind of way. So I'll be using the news more as a talking point to kind of get my ideas of what I think about what's happening with Halo rather than just being like, here's the headline, Thanks for the like. So I'll still try to pump out as many videos as I can on this channel, guys, to give you guys information to stay updated with everything going on with Halo. And probably also reach out to a little bit extra things beyond Halo as well. But ultimately, I'm super excited about what the future holds for me and on this channel. So thank you guys again so much. You guys wanna follow me on Twitter? Make sure to do that, link in the description down below. Follow me at GameStop, that's GameStop on Twitter, GameStop on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Content's gonna be going up there pretty soon as well. Guys, we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff and I'm super excited and just crazy fortunate to be on in this kind of position that's all thanks to you guys and thank you gothic for supporting this video link again in the description and in the pinned comment down below guys to get yourselves 20 percent off but guys thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you all in the next one peace out